Hello friends, this is Dr. Amit Gupta and in this video we will be discussing the latest NEET 2019 pattern. So basically the aim of this video is to analyze the latest exam pattern and based on this analysis we will try to incorporate some pointers for our preparation so that we are better equipped for the exam. Right, so if you are a student who has just started preparing for NEET, this video will give you a good idea about the basic structure of the exam and what to expect in the exam and if you are already preparing for NEET this video will act as a good checklist for your preparation alright so we start with the general structure basic structure of the exam so this NEET PG exam the duration is 210 minutes right and in these 210 minutes we have to solve 300 MCQs right these MCQs have four options with one answer right single correct answer and for every correct answer we have plus 4 every wrong answer gives us minus 1 and for not attempting the question we don't get anything right so if you do your math here you will come up with this equation right 0.7 minutes per MCQ which comes out to be 42 seconds per MCQ right so this equation might seem a bit daunting to you in the start but trust me it's not and if you go through the exam at a decent pace you are bound to end up with spare time at the end right okay so the latest exam was actually divided into three parts that is a b and c a part carried 50 b carries 100 and c carries 150 questions right although it is not a hard and fast rule broadly part a carries first year subjects part b carries second year subjects and part C carries the final year subjects right but make a note of it it's not a hard and fast rule and basically divided it into parts doesn't make much of a big difference for the exam just makes it a little more organized I feel right so coming to the questions right so if we try to divide the questions into types we can divide them into two that is image based MCQs right which have which are a recent trend and have become a major part of the exam and the second is a written MCQs or the conventional MCQs right so we take a look at them one by one so these image based MCQs you expect to account for around 25 percent of the questions which comes out to be around 70 to 75 questions right so you expect around 70-75 images in your exam so if we try to divide it subject wise first subject that carries a lot of images is anatomy right and you in anatomy you can have graphics right graphical diagrams and asking you to identify the muscle and asking its nerve supply or showing you the foramen asking you the nerve going through it or you can also have dissection specimens right and basically the question remains the same you are asked to identify the normal structure and you are asked a secondary question about that structure third type of question in anatomy is based on imaging right you are given a CT or an MR on an ultrasound and you are asked to identify the normal structure right second subject that actually carries a lot of images is microbiology right in your exam you expect a gram stain at least one gram stain you expect you expect parasites right which can be in the form of a cyst or a larva or a worm right you expect parasites you expect vectors right you expect life cycles from microbiology right third subject that actually does carry images is radiology radiology the first thing that you must must know is chest x-ray and I will add a s here because you must expect at least two chest x-rays in your exam right so you must know all the diagnosis that can be made on a chest x-ray okay second type of question is you have to identify the investigation right how does a barium swallow look like or a follow through or an MR how does it look like and you are asked to identify the investigation based on the image right third that you are going to get in the exam is for sure a ortho x-ray that is a skeletal x-ray right which can be a bone tumor or a fracture and can have a secondary question about the diagnosis 
another trend that has come up in radiology is neuroimaging right neuroimaging ct brain mr brain and you are asked to identify the pathology and these are very uh, characteristic pathologies like hemorrhage or infarct that you are expected to identify right fourth type of images are the clinical images right clinical images can be like surgical swellings right surgical swellings or uh, images from derma right and other short subjects that have images are ophtha and ent right one thing to note about these clinical images is that you expect a clinical history in the question right mostly you will have a clinical scenario in the question and you are given an image and based on the two you are expected to make a diagnosis right two other very peculiar things that have come up is the surgical instruments okay surgical instruments and the other thing is ecgs right these are two peculiar image based questions that have come up recently and you must make sure especially for ecgs make sure that you know the basic mi changes basic electrolyte changes right you must be familiar with them right coming on to the conventional mcqs we can actually divide them into two like first is the factual one liners okay and the other ones are based on a clinical scenario right for a neat exam the factual one liners actually carry a higher percentage and a good estimate will be around 120 130 questions which are at one liners and clinical scenarios uh, uh recently they have uh, had a increase in the neat exam and a good estimate will be around 100 questions and to note here is that based based on these one liners that is why the time required to solve the exam is actually decreased because these one liners actually need just 5 seconds right so actually in exam you have a lot of time okay and one more point you can note here is that one liners obviously are more in parts a and b that is in the first and second year subjects and clinical scenarios are more in part c that is a final year subjects like medicine or surgery or pediatrics right third type of questions that actually intimidate some students is what i call the aeroplane mcqs right so why i call them aeroplane mcqs is that just like this plane they fly right over our heads right so we have no idea about these mcqs so in a neat exam let's estimate them to be around 10 to 15 such questions okay so the point to note about these mcqs is they are in a minority they are insignificant for your rank okay and you must not get panicked while answering these mcqs right uh, do not waste too much of your time on these questions and try to concentrate on the questions that you can actually attempt right so coming to the subject wise distribution of these 300 mcqs right a basic uh, distribution so for the first year subjects we expect around 15 to 20 questions each for the subjects right second year uh, we have path pharma micro which uh, we can expect around 20 questions each for forensic for a short subject forensic does actually carry a higher weightage and this should be considered in your preparation right do not underestimate this subject second uh, is the coming to the long subjects we expect around 25 to 30 questions each okay and in the short subjects actually ophtha and derma do carry a higher weightage just because of the images actually because there has been a increase in the images and uh, these two subjects actually carry a lot of images and the rest of the short subjects we can expect around 5 questions each so this is the basic overview of distribution of questions okay so based on this discussion now we draw some conclusions okay so first conclusion that we should draw here and we should be very clear about this is during our preparation we must cover all subjects based on the subject wise distribution we can see there is a very homogeneous distribution of questions right and we must make sure that we cover all subjects all 19 subjects equally okay second is 
because of the increase in images we should note the images along our reading okay and one specific point here is that for anatomy we must go through an atlas because we are bound to get questions there right third thing is do not try to solve the uh, high level questions right do not try to shoot for the high level questions cover the basics right because those aeroplane mcqs are a minority and those are insignificant right one general rule what i think is you should actually try to score all 70% in all subjects right rather than trying to score a 100% in one subject try to score 70% in all subjects right this way you can actually make sure that you can identify and you can attempt the average uh, level questions from all the subjects which are a majority in the exam right and last but not the least in the exam keep calm right you have enough time okay you have enough time to actually think about a question and then attempt there is no hurry right so uh, okay guys thanks for watching i hope this was helpful for you thank you